Who's there? Oh no, not. Omae wa mo shindeiru. That was for taking my boba tea. Hey everyone, sorry about that. I had some business to take care of. That guy's really bumped up his security since the last video hijack. I'm Sean Renzo Head, shakachi player for Renzo Flutes on YouTube. Today we are doubling down and going over two traditional Japanese flutes, the Ryuteki and the Shinobue. Okay, so why this time are we doing two flutes instead of one? Well, the answer is simple. The Shinobue comes from the Ryuteki, which is to say Shinobue may be our first instrument that was designed and made originally in Japan. So let's start with the Ryuteki. Not going to lie, the Ryuteki has a pretty awesome name, Dragon Flute. The Dragon Flute, like most instruments in Japan, is made from bamboo, but bound with cherry bark. It is used in gagaku, Japanese court music. The sound of the Ryuteki is said to represent the dragons, which take flight in the skies between the heavenly beams of grace and also between us mere mortals. <laughs> The Ryuteki is a transverse flute, has seven holes, and is about one foot and four inches. This is an open hold flute with sizable holes, which is allows for extreme pitch bending. An interesting fact about the Ryuteki is there is a weight put in the mouthpiece that helps balance the sound of the instrument. The Ryuteki's main job is to play the melodies in gagaku. Sei Shonogon, a famous author from the Heian period, once threw some major shade at the Hichiriki saying it sounded like a noisy cricket. Listen to how her mood changes for the Ryuteki. I feel amused when I listen to a flute as its sound approaches you gradually from a distance. I also find it deeply appealing when the sound slowly goes away to an almost inaudible point. I have a tear in my eye. How about you, Lymphemy? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I know, it's beautiful. Now for the Shinobue. Shinobue is also a Japanese woodwind instrument. Unlike the Ryuteki, which was mainly for the upper class aristocrats and samurai, the Shinobue has very little decoration in art. This is most likely because it was a plebeian instrument. Since Shinobue is a common musical instrument, the appearance, tuning, and variations are abundant throughout Japan. It is also made from madake bamboo, but lacks the cherry bark rings like the ryuteki. Here is what a Shinobue sounds like. Okay, let's go on to the history. The Shinobue is thought to be the offspring of the Ryuteki, which was introduced from the Chinese mainland as a horizontal flute for gagaku. Then it spread to the common people and was simplified. There are two types of finger holes in Shinobue, which are currently used most often, the six hole and the seven hole. So what type of music does Shinobue play? First is festival music. Shinobue is one of the most common flutes for festival music, most of the time, Shinobue is paired with percussion called taiko. The Shinobue's job is to perform the main melody of these following works, Matsuri Hayashi, Kagura, and Shishimai, which means lion dance. It's a type of traditional dance performed by one or more people wearing a guardian lion costume. For this music, performers use a Hayashi Shinobue, which is tuned to the traditional Japanese key, which has notes outside of the Western scale. The next type of music is folk music, or minyo. In the world of minyo, shamisen is the main accompaniment of folk songs and dances, but to spice things up, the ensembles often add shinobue, shakohachi, and percussion to the mix. Shinobue holds a lot of roles in each song, such as providing reference tones for the singer, 
adding flourishes of sound in a piece, and doubling with a singer to create a new, vivid tone color. Next up is stage music. When it comes to the traditional performing arts of the Edo period, the most popular were the following, kabuki, bunraku, and Japanese dance. In this music as well, the shamisen was the primary accompanying instrument, but the shinobue added to the melodic phrases. One thing that is necessary for shinobue players to have is a variety of sizes of flutes. This is needed because if the singer has a different vocal range, they need to change flutes to fit with their range, unlike a shamisen player or koto player, who can just adjust their tuning. Lastly, parlor and banquet music. Because stage music became very popular for every situation in time, there were a lot of opportunities to perform folk music and festival music. Now folk music and festival music are different, but because commoners played them indiscriminately, they mixed and became one. Thus, the Ozashiki style was born, creating Kouta and Hauta. These together, Kouta and Hauta, would go on to be the accompanying music for the Geisha and Maiko. Let's move on to a little bit more about the instrument. The shinobue is classified according to the number of finger holes it has in the length of the tube. Most shinobue will have six or seven holes, but there are other models that exist with more and less. Shinobue is a very convenient instrument, which is why it can be found in so many styles of music. As for classical Japanese music, shinobue is very easy to play because of the finger holes all being the same diameter. They are also lined up in equal intervals, but this does make it harder to play with other instruments that have clear western scale tunings. Later in the Showa era, Japanese designed the position and size of finger holes so that it could match up with the western scale. Like all the instruments we talk about here on Linfamy's channel, there are a lot of people around the world playing them and doing wonderful and exciting things with them. Wagaki Ban has been mentioned many times in the comments. All right, I suppose I'm supposed to let him go. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just leave him like that. So we have new patrons this week. Hey, hey, hey. So, we have new patrons this week. Kurt Walner, Renee White, and Rebecca. We also have new emperors, yay. Jason Watkin Elementary, my dear Watkin. Mike G, an excellent rapper. And Ismail Valen, or Izzy. Thanks you guys, glad you could join. Hey, also make sure to check out Sean's YouTube channel, at Renzo Flutes. For more videos on traditional Japanese instruments, like the shakuhachi, click here. Alright you guys, much love and spread the knowledge.